I remember it being almost surreal. Like, wow, this is amazing. <laughs> I looked around and I was just like, okay, you know, like I'm not in Kansas anymore. And I'm sitting at a cafe waiting for, for my site director to come. Olive trees for as far as I could see. And these people are speaking to me in Spanish. Oh my gosh. It was awe inspiring. There's skyscrapers surrounding me in literally every direction. And that was just crazy to me, just the scope of the city. When I got to Prague and I looked down, it, it would, I, it's like I stepped back in, back in time about 250, 300 years. Just that first impression was pretty intense sense of culture shock, but it was really exciting too. You really feel overwhelmed with just a sense of yourself. By taking time to find a program that fit my personal and academic aspirations, I got so much more out of my experience. Choosing the right program made all the difference. I chose to go with CEA and I really liked the option of going with a program because they didn't just drop you off and say, yeah, this is where you're going to live for four months. Well, they had like a welcome dinner, I mean, walked you through the, the whole application process. It was nice because I had never been on my own anywhere. It was cool to have this experience on my own but have help when, need, when I needed it. Where you live during your study abroad really makes a huge impact on your experience. Um, you can choose from a variety of living situations, uh, dorm life, host family, an apartment with um, uh, American roommates, uh, whatever really works for you. You do not need to know a foreign language to study abroad. Um, I studied in the Czech Republic and before I went I knew not a word in Czech, um, but I didn't allow that to stop me. There are a lot of people who actually knew English in my area and also there are many, many classes taught in English so you don't have to know the language. The financial side of study abroad is important to consider, but it shouldn't be the reason that you were to stay home. Everybody can afford to study abroad, and it's something that's going to pay off in the long term, if not only in life experience, also in your future employability. There are many ways to make study abroad affordable, and the experience in itself is just invaluable. Office of Financial Aid it was a major help. Also, there are several scholarships through the SIUE Study Abroad Program, the Ambassador Scholarship, for which I'm a recipient, and there's a scholarship through the Department of State, the Benjamin A. Gilman Scholarship, also which I am a, um, a recipient. I got $4,000 in, um, in addition to the money I had already received to study abroad. So yes, there are multiple financing options. I had actually decided on Buenos Aires and I was gonna go and I had everything set up and then I backed out at the last minute because I was afraid of money. And I was like, I can't do this, this is it's too far, it's too much money, I just know. On the way home, my mom burst into tears and she looked at me and she said, you need to study abroad, you need to go somewhere, otherwise you're not gonna be happy with your life. There's a huge misconception about studying abroad is that it sets you back with, with graduation. I actually ended up changing my degree a bit when I came back because of the um, inspiration I got while I was there, but it worked out well. I'm still on track. I'm going to graduate at the time I expected to. So it's definitely possible to be on track for graduation. You won't miss a beat. Study abroad is an is a, um, excellent opportunity to um, prepare yourself for the global market. When you study abroad, it puts you in a pretty specific category of students that have done something that most haven't. There's a huge world out there. It kind of shows that you have certain qualities that I think a lot of employers would like. Like you're adventurous, you're willing to take risks, and um, you're open to different perspectives. We're living in a, in a day where we have to compete as students on a global level. Until June, I may be called to fill a spot as an intern at the United States Embassy in Beijing, which would be just about the most interesting job I can think of. Do not be afraid to go. The only way to really understand another culture is to immerse yourself in it. When you're living and breathing it and, and traveling and meeting people and I mean just interacting with other, other people from around the world, you get that, that world view that you can't just talk about and, 
in a classroom. The study abroad experience gives you just that opportunity to immerse yourself in that culture. If you're ready to begin your adventure, you can find more information at siue.edu slash studyabroad by emailing studyabroad at siue.edu or going into the Office of International Programs. Aslo sin duda. Wajweda niemen shu yao shwe shi guo wai. Aslo. Explore the world. Explore the world.